All right, so if I can't handle it, what we should feel when we really get on it is the battery will cut out. The BMS will kick in and I'll lose power. I don't have to, you know, turn the ignition on and off to, to restart it again. Now, one of the things I noticed in the video I watched of the guy who said he did that was he he uh, accelerate very gingerly, right? And uh, to really test if it can handle that ampage, you really want to just get on it and see if it can handle it. We'll just do like a, like a quick pull right here. Seems to be fine. The interesting thing is I didn't really notice a difference in torque. Hmm. But let's get up here and, and we'll come to a complete stop and then and then take off. So let's just get right here really quick. And then we'll just punch it. Alright, full throttle. Yeah, I don't really notice an increase in torque, which is very interesting. Because one of the arguments they were making in the comments was the my increase in phase amps isn't really going to do anything because I increased the line amps, but I did feel a difference in torque when I increased the phase amps. And I'm not really feeling any difference at all increasing the line amps to 225. Hmm. This thing is very fast now, that's for sure. I mean, it doesn't have the torque to pill out or do power wheels or anything like that, but it's almost like how it feels to me is when you have a car with really good traction control, right? And it wants to deliver just as much power as you can without losing traction to, you know, maximize your acceleration, you know what I mean? That's what it feels to me. It feels like it's almost there where it would lose traction or, or do a, a power wheel. You can feel the front end kind of want to lift up a little bit, but like it does and you just do it. One, one question to answer, the BMS is not cutting in at all, even at full throttle from a complete stop. It's not, it's not doing anything. It's still learning the power just fine.